What am I thinking? I'm amazed. Um, blown what's away. This, what's a mean thing? Emotional. Caring about your people. What's happening today? A little surprise for the factory. The entire company's gonna get something special today. Are you excited for this? I event? am. Do you know what's happening today? Yes, I know what's happening today, bro. I hear this cake. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what's happening today? I don't. What's happening? I thought I was getting fired. <laughs> Aren't you retired? <laughs> Guys, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Hey. All right. Thanks, everybody, for coming over. Uh, I'll try to keep it brief. Um, first off, you know, when we moved in here in 2017, I think there was 12 of us. I remember walking in this place and thinking, yeah, this is, this is just a start. Like this is a, this is a beginning, not an end. And in the past few years, we've grown from that little factory out in Industry Maine. Uh, Amanda and I had just gotten out of a, a, a terrible time in life with a recession. We had lost everything and we're like, we're gonna, we're gonna rebuild something in America. We're gonna do it a different way. Uh, and, it, and it's an impossible mission, rebuilding this community and bringing manufacturing back to America in a meaningful way. Of course, these factories back in the day were the melting pot of America, and I believe that America has lost a lot of what used to tie us all together. I know a lot of folks haven't seen this brand book. Um, this brand book is, is what drives this business. So the decisions made at the top levels and middle levels that get filtered down are driven, are driven from this thing. Building a business is imperfect. You can never make everybody happy, but you can always choose to do the right thing. That's a choice, that's a personal choice. You can always choose to do the right thing. And we're gonna do something today which is the right thing. It's hard to manage multiple factories, and I think we're around 600 employees now, between five and 600 employees. <laughs> You know, a lot of folks don't have visibility into that. You know, they might see me in and out, or Andy in and out, or Amanda, or Dennis, whatever. Um, but there's a conversation happening 24-7, 365. There's a mind share thinking about how to grow this and proliferate our message 24-7, 365. And we're perfectly positioned to truly build America's next big brand on an American supply chain. There's not another company in the world positioned like we're positioned. And for me, Maine is the tip of the spear. And what we're doing here is defining what the future can look like. I think the people of America, the people of this company, are at a defining moment in history, in the history of this nation, which is young, it's young, we're still getting our bearings. We've screwed up a lot. And it's on us to facilitate change. It's on us to take action. It's on us to look at how we're gonna contribute to improving ourselves, improving our communities. And I think that that, as people watch from the outside in, is what's gonna drive true change in America. I know who's watching. And it's amazing what you all are doing because you're actually the ones doing it. You represent this, you live it every day. It's hard every day to come in and, and wanna be motivated to put your hands to work. We stand behind you because you stand in front of us, because you're leading from the front. I wanna read something that I wrote in this brand book. From nothing came everything we believe in. The ideals of the American dream live in the mind of the dreamer. The American dream is a mindset, one I've always believed in. Eventually, someone has to speak up, not with words, but with actions. Revolution doesn't have to be a physical campaign. This bruised and battered American dream needs you and I to believe in it. For me, it was a simple act of saying no, my silent protest to the world, to greed, to communism, to evil, building a factory and saving a loom, risking it all on an impossible mission. 
embracing the beauty and burden of the unknown to prove there can be a new wave of freedom, one that injects soul back into this republic and her calloused hands. From Maine, from Maine, we can once again be the tip of the spear, shedding a light on America's abandoned communities and people to help them to tell their story and to once again, like our ancestors, become savage Yankees from New England, taking a stand to take it back, to inspire a nation and to change the world. Who are we? What do we stand for? How do we do what we do? And why do we do what we do? To breathe life back into the dream. That's our mission. More importantly, we start with people. Sometimes it doesn't always feel like that. Sometimes it feels like chaos. Sometimes it feels like there's not a plan. Sometimes you don't have visibility into what's going on. Sometimes you're asked things that you might not feel is in your role and responsibilities. Sometimes you're asked to work long hours. Sometimes it's freaking cold outside and it's cold inside. Sometimes it's freaking hot outside and it's hot inside. We need to do something to raise the awareness of the company and to elevate you as individuals. And today, we are going to be applying for all hourly employees a $2.50 wage increase. The new starting wage in these factories will be $17.50 an hour, which puts us in line, if not better than New Balance, L.L. Bean, and a lot of other companies. So we want to become the best employer in Franklin County. We want to become the best employer in Maine. One more thing. If you have friends and families that want to work here and there's a job opening, we're going to be offering a $1,000 bonus for new employees. It'll be spread out over the course of their, their tenure, I don't know, six months or something. We want to make sure we bring people on that want to be here. We want people with positive attitudes that aren't afraid to get their hands dirty and can appreciate calluses at the end of the day. So I just want to thank everybody. You're all ass kickers. We appreciate all of you. Man, 66% of our workforce is a millennial or younger. Tell me manufacturing is dead and people don't want to work in factories. Thank you. Thank you. You can go back to work. <laughs> or break. It's break time. And break. Enjoy your break. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I, this is one of the best places I've ever worked. I mean, people, I've been in places where they don't even treat me like you're a human being. And I don't get any of that here. So I'm really That's happy. good to hear. Yeah. I don't like to cry. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you, brother. No. Thanks, boss. Yeah, thank you, Bill. You came last night? You were a good guy. Yeah. You and a man both. <laughs> I mean, it's the least we can do. I feel better giving back to the people than doing anything else with it. And so that's that's why it feels good. Just, it's cool. It's exciting. I love to do it. Yeah, I'm amazed. Um, blown away. What's the mean for you? Emotional. Caring about your people. I'm just blown away. Not what I expected. Grateful. Yeah. It's hard to make it as a single person. Um, I struggled through the winter. Hard. Between good friends, good job. Great employees who care uh, employers who care about their employees. Yeah, I'm a mess. <laughs> I hate crying. Literally, I struggled through the winter. I just did. And uh, now I don't have to. And I can enjoy my kid. That's what it's about right there. I enjoy what I do. I want to keep doing it as long as I can because it keeps me active. Yeah. Uh, Pete and Amanda are very good people and they do care for the people that they employ. Speechless. I've never worked for a company like this. I don't plan on anything else. I love it. That's awesome. Absolutely love it. Are you from this area? I am. I'm from Wilson. What does it mean to see all these jobs coming back to the area? You know, when I was younger and I first started working, I worked in factories like this. No and they all went away. And it left us lost. And 
now it's back and it's amazing to be a part of that. <laughs>